From Strawberry Fest to the Mid Florida Amphitheater to the Valspar Golf Championship and the hearts of countless fans, Toby Keith left a mark on Tampa Bay. The country music icon died at 62 after an 18 month battle with stomach cancer. Yeah, Fox 13's Evan Axelbank reports tonight on his impact and his fight against that deadly disease. All it took was one post by Toby Keith's team for the memories to come rushing back for former Tampa Bay DJ Skip Mahaffey. I was sitting backstage during that performance. And you'll be sorry that you mess with the U.S. of A. The place just went absolutely crazy because this was less than a year after the 9-11 attacks. And to be there in that very intimate moment between an artist and, and that audience was, was absolutely incredible. Mahaffey helped bring Toby Keith to the Strawberry Fest in 2002, one of their many encounters as he saw Toby rise from a guy doing bar gigs in Columbus, Ohio in 1994 to Superstar who sold more than 30 million albums and hit number one 20 times. And I think about what he went through through the past year or so. Cancer is cancer is ugly. Um, cancer is brutal. Uh, it doesn't care how many awards that you, you've won or, or the philanthropy that you do for others. In June of 2022, Keith was diagnosed with stomach cancer and treated by chemo, radiation, and surgery. What we need is awareness, surveillance, more education to the public, physicians. Dr. Sharona Ross hopes the high-profile case of Toby Keith brings more focus on stomach cancer, which is highly treatable if caught early. The five-year survival rate is 75%, but only 35% if it spreads to nearby lymph nodes. The tricky thing is the symptoms can be as vague as vomiting or acid reflux. If it's not identified early on, you know that the chance of them surviving is very low. That he was lost at just 62 is crushing for Skip Mahaffey, who saw him after a recent awards show. The full scope of the superstar came into focus. He was crying and he said, I, I, I just can't believe this is finally happening. To see a guy who is that strong, willing to just to break down and be real, uh, that to me is, that's the thing that I remember most about that night. Toby Keith is gone, but his sound will never be. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.